Hello again and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're on episode 18 now, I believe. Let's have a quick look at the journal. Because we won the Rate tournament last week, there's also a little loose end here to tie up. And that was to tell Sir Hans how I got on in the tourney. So I'm just going to do that first and then we can decide which quest we want to go on from there. Right, it's in the bathhouse. Again. Oh, here he is. Henry, I'm glad you came. Hello, Hans. I'm sorry, sir, but about the tourney. Not another word. I'm in no mood for listening to lame excuses about how you're too busy to lift a finger for me. One task I gave you, Henry. Just one. All you had to do was put on some armour and prance around the arena for a while. At my expense, I hasten to add, is that really too much to ask of a friend? Was I not supposed to win it then? You're the one who started the whole fiasco. Begging your pardon, your lordship, but His it wasn't reputation. me who fed Sir Hanish a load of horse shit about teaching someone knightly skills. Don't you dare lecture me! It's enough I have to put up with that from Hanush, but at least he has the authority for it. I'm fond of you, Henry, but you've really gone too far this time. Bugger off! Oh, okay. Whoops. We buggered that one up. I'm not sure how we should have um won that. So it seems I failed that Hans Capon's champion quest because I didn't do the Rate tournament on the day that Can Hans Capon told me about it. I let it kind of fail and then restart and then fail and restart on a daily basis. So um so basically for you guys, if you want to do that quest, do the quest on the day that Hans asked you. So Okay, you live and learn. So anyway, um, I was looking at my quest log and I might do this House of God. There's been an accident at the Sassang Monastery construction works due to a bad quality stone. The Talenberg Quarry Master is worried the affair would damage his good name. So the Quarry Master wanted my help with the trouble at Sassang Monastery. Of course, I had to ask Sir Divish's permission and he agreed. I should go to the monastery and see if there's any truth in the talk about this bad quality stone. So I'm here in Rate, and I've got to go all the way in this kind of unknown area. So I will see you there, guys. Oh, this area looks really nice. Like a lovely lake down there as well. I'm not sure if this is near here now. Let's have a look. Oh no, we've still got miles to go. Oh god. It looks like a it's not a, it's not a lake, it's a river. No, I'm not sure. This looks a lovely little area. Right, I think this is it here. This is a quite a big place. And that looks like a monastery right over there. So, let's go and have a look. It's a sow. We're here. Right, so where have we got to go? Yeah. This big monastery here? Oh, it's a big old place. A big old place. I think this place is, it seems to be bigger than Ratai. Okay. Let's go up our horse and walk across the, uh, walk across the, to the monastery. There's a little guy here. Is this the guy we got to speak to? Yes, it is. Uh, this guy is called Brother Porter. If you guys cannot see, because my ugly mug is in the way. I've changed the camera position, right? So I keep looking over there where it used to where it used to be. Um, I'm here at the service of Talenberg. I've been sent here from Talenberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder, or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has Dodgy to do with stone. the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study is right above us, more or less. Okay. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Okay, thank you. Take care now. So we have to go left and then come back on ourselves. So take it we go up here. Out the way, good sir. I'm just coming through. No, oh, is this him here? Overseer. Hello, that was, that was handy. Good he timing. Christ be praised. Sir Davish has sent me to ask about the accident. I've come in the name of Sir Davish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. 
And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so who's responsible for the purchase of materials? Who's in charge of purchasing materials sure, the mason, for the construction? Eh? Mainly it's me. Oh. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Okay. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside the gate the on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard you were late with your payment to the I quarry. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Take care now. So the master builder can tell me more about the accident and point me in the right direction. So let's talk to the master builder. Let's have a look at our map to see where he is. Oh, it's only up there. So let's have a little word with him. Here he is, look. Stone Mason, it says. Mind out! Something will fall on you if you don't move. Oh, maybe that wasn't him. <laughs> right, here's the master builder. Stone mason, it says. If you're not working here, clear off. A bit rude. Oh, hang on. Okay, that's not him either. <laughs> okay. Uh, where is he? He's a hard one to get in here. I thought he was just over here. Oh, my goodness. This isn't. It's in the toilet. Nope. Where am I going? Where is he? Right, is he in here? Master Carol, is this you? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Yes, I think you can. You ought to show me the place where the accident happened. The Overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg stone. Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? Um, okay. Have you noticed anything going on? Have you noticed anything on? else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. <sighs> Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. The curse? And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. Oh. This is getting interesting. Devil's skull? You talked seriously? about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Leshek, okay. Ask Leshek about the skull that was found. So is that a separate quest, or is that part of the same quest? Is someone stealing Who's the stone? stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumours... Everyone, from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest labourer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. 
And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Okay, let's go and speak to this Leshek guy. Okay, show me, actually, first of all, um, I need to stop looking over there. Uh, show me where the accident happened. Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. May the Lord watch over you. Dresses up how you like you own the place. How does that? Oh, maybe this guy here is. No, it's not him. Right, so I'll start with a cloud journal. So look around for clues. This is C. So we can ask Leshek afterwards. Let's look around and see for clues. So where was C on the map? Some outbuilding, he said. Here we go. Go there and have a look. Right, it should be around here somewhere. C. Right, okay. This is the big steps. Any chest to open? Should we? Should we? Should we just have a look at the chest? Have a little look. It's down here somewhere, is it? Looking for clues. Inspect. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognise it. Okay. Uh, I found a clue, a bit of stone. Find out the origin of the faulty stone. I need to ask somebody, right, about this uh, faulty stone. Find out the origin of the faulty stone. It's like way up here. Goodness me. Do you know what? While I'm here, should I just do this one as well? Ask Leshek about the skull that was found? I better do whilst I'm here. Right, this is Leshek. I have a question to ask Leshek. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. You were the one who found the skull. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what do. was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Really? On holy ground? Or was it really a devil's skull? And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil. Besides, the thing gave off a diabolical stink. Okay. What did you do with and it? And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only, I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. Right, so i got to go and find see it. see if I can find it. I'll be with you. Okay. Right, so apparently... It is round here somewhere. I'll just have a look around here. There's a... There's a dunny here. Toilet. A loo, as we say in the UK. Um, so, the skull rolled. If I was a skull and I was rolling, where would I roll to? Down here, I guess. Right, okay. Uh, this is a rather annoying quest. I couldn't find it for ages. I've been looking for this for about 20 minutes. So, on the map, I'm right here. And here's a skull. Devil's skull. Hmm. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Right, okay. Look around the place we've done that there now. Take the skull to the local knacker. Local knacker, just to see if it's genuine or not. Okay, I will do that. Let's go to the general knacker. The general knacker is here in Sasau. So let's go here. You a knacker? Grave digger. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. This is supposed to be a devil's skull. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I, I don't, don't know. know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear oh. it's not the real thing. It's a shame. 
Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger. And no <laughs> was mistake. skilled bugger. Not a skilled bugger, just skilled bugger. Okay, take the skull to the local knacker, we've done that. Ask the scavenger or Mola, Zmola, about the skull and how it got there. Okay, we will do. There's loads of quests here in Sasau, which we'll have to come back on. Oh, look at all of them, there's loads. We'll leave that for another time though. Right, let's go back here then. Zmola, where are you? Ah, Zmola. You know the head they found near the scaffolding? What about it? Someone put it there on purpose. After they stuck horns on it to make it look sinister. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to do. Who's responsible? Mm. And where did he find the skull? I don't know. But I'll try to find out. Okay, I'm looking for Leshek. Have you seen Leshek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull. I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. Okay. So... We have to go... Is this the scaffold in here, then? So I guess we just wait? Oh, we're here. What's going on? Who was that? I could do with a bite to eat. Okay, let's have a quick bite to eat. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Go to the top and see what who threw that um that brick down. Right, looks like the last ladder now, and then we're at the top level. I guess we'll see what's going on. Oh, we get oh goodness me. Okay, let's just do um. Oh. Sorry guys, you can't see now because I've got my I don't wanna I don't wanna kill him. Sorry about the darkness, guys. Right, okay. Mason. Don't kill me. I'll tell you everything. Who are you? And who sent you? Who are you? I'm just a worker here. He, he told me that if I take care of you, then he'll forgive my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Okay. Who, Who sent, sent you? you? It, it was the master builder's helper. Young I Smola. knew it. What? He was supposed to be here as well. He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshak was hiding out there. Fuck. Okay. What am I supposed to do with you? What am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss. On purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D -d don't kill me, please. Okay. Um, I don't want to kill him. Uh, what should I do? Get out of my sight. I'll have you arrested. Get out of my Fine, sight. But I don't want to see you here again. Thank you. Right, let's go and catch up with Zamula. Okay, Zmola claims he knows that Leshek is hiding in the mill near a monastery and he's going to kill him. So I better get a move on then. Maybe you can see alright, guys. If you're having trouble, let me know and I will whack the gamma up even farther. Right, so we should be in one of these huts down here. Let's have a look, look at our map. Right, he's straight ahead. Right, should be around here somewhere. Is this the hut he's in? Maybe it's one of these. Let's have a look in here. We're trespassing, it says. Oh, here is he. 
It's got to be in one of these places. Right, it's got to be in here because it says I'm not trespassing. Zamola, where are you? Where is he? Hang on. Smoke. He's killed what him. What the hell are you doing? That's Leszek, isn't it? Yes, it's him. I found him. And now I'm taking him to the Sawbones. He looks dead to I'd me. I'd say he's dead as a doornail. You killed him, didn't you? Not at all. Look, he's still breathing. Is he? <laughs> oh. Is that all? <laughs> I can't believe that. Christ. Should I mercy kill him? No. What? What? What's going on? Right now, it's the next day, and we have to go and go to this um, area right over here, and we have to find out the origin of the faulty stone. So we'll do that now. Okay. So it looks like we're now at the Talenberg Quarry. So, we need to inquire about this faulty stone we found and find the origins of it. So, there's a guy over there I guess I'll be speaking to. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this stone before? Rupert. Good day name. to you. What do you need? Um, I bought the piece of stone that... F I brought the piece of stone that fell off. Here is the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this oh. isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, so what do we do now? Tell the master builder about the origin of the stone so to get all the way back again. Right then, so we have to go all the way back and tell the Master Builder about the origin of the stone, which is... All the way back over here. Luckily we got fast travel. So, let's go. Right, here we are, back at the monastery. Let's, let's, let's find this, uh, what do we have to do? Who are we finding? The Master Builder. And tell him. But that stone wasn't from that quarry. Oh, no, no, no. Right, where are you, Master Builder? Right, here we go. This is nice, look. It's the model of the monastery they want to build. Lovely, this is. Hello, sir. Looks like you've got no trousers on. It's the same colour as your skin. Excuse me. God be with you. I'll be with you at all. Right, um, the piece of stone that fell off is different from the rest. I looked around, and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest. Yes, it's very poor, but we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else, and we couldn't wait for more. That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction? I don't know. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done. Or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So someone had to take it out without being seen? That huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. So let's tell him that the skull is the skull a fake. Is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to cemetery? frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. Well, he did kill somebody. Your apprentice is a thief and a murderer. Your apprentice is behind it all, Master Builder. What? Leszek told me the skull was Zmola's idea, and he was responsible for the bad stone, too, and even worse things. Good God! Why would the lad do that? I always took good care of him, and... Oh, Jesus Christ! Take care now. 
All right, so that's quest done then, or the objective done. So our last objective now on the House of God is to inform Sir Davish of the outcome of the investigation. Let's go and do that. Back to Tomberg. Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Oh, God. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. I'll slaughter you. Why are they, um... What's happened here? <laughs> Hijacked on the road. Oh, God, they're all coming now. Oh, God, they're all after it. You'll get what for Oh. Here! Don't let him get away! Shit. Oh my goodness me. Kunda! Call that combat! These these cumans. Shit. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Doesn't look ah. good! <laughs> Goodness me, let go! No, no, don't get me! Lip it out! Oh, dear, did that hurt! It's hurting a bit, but yes! Jesus Christ! Gotta weak at the knees, have you? How do we kill this many people at once? This is ridiculous. I'm bleeding yet, no. Giving up already. God, I'm going to die. Why is there so many people? Right. I see him dead. What's the matter? Come on. You're the guys running away. I could, I could do this. Oh no! Oh no! You can, you can still yield. I'm not gonna yield. Oh God. <laughs> I have you know I'm the Rate tournament winner. Should mess with me. <laughs> You call that combat. Oh, oh. <laughs> right, he's dead. Right, just you left now. Not a good move. I'm Pretty okay. good, huh? Come on. I'm going to enjoy. You are shaking in your boots, aren't you? Who's this guy? Stop, hear me, stop, I give up! <laughs> okay, just take the glory. Who's this guy? Oh, he's a guard. Right, let's continue back then to Talmberg. 
as we initially planned before we got ambushed. Right, we're here back in Talenburg. Let's go and see Sir Divish and tell him that we have completed his, to be honest with you, maybe a bit less than exciting quest. Hello, Sir Divish. How are you praying? Excuse me. Well, good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The master builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. And I should reward you for it. Thank Ooh. you, Sir Divish. See you later. So objective completed and quest completed. Yes, the House of God is now done. Anyway, guys, I've got about over an hour's worth of video to edit. I hope you've enjoyed this one. This one's a little bit boring, I guess. A bit of a mundane sort of task. But anyway, a quest is a quest. And we will try to complete the whole game. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next part. See ya. Take care.